Hi everyone, it's Sam here from samsentiments.co.uk. For today's project, we're going to make this really simple congratulations card. Um, this one's been made using Coastal Cabana, which is retiring this uh, out of the new catalogue. Um, so the one I'm going to make today is going to be in Daffodil Delight. So here goes. First of all, you're going to need to take... Um, it's a standard card base, uh, which is basically a piece of A4, cut in half and folded in half. I've scored this. Um, I'll put the measurements on my blog for that. And then I've got a piece of DSP, and this one has come from the All A Bloom Designer Series paper stack. This is just a, a whisper white, and this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And all we're going to do is stick that onto the base of the card. We use some snail. I always like to use plenty of snail. I hate to think that my cards might fall to pieces as soon as I hand them out. there we go and then for the band across the middle of the card it's another piece of daffodil delight measuring five and five eighths by two inches and then a piece of whisper white which we're going to be doing the stamping on which is five and three eighths by one and three quarters now the stamp set i'm using today is the bravo stamp set it's a photopolymer stamp set and it's brilliant it's got loads of really huge sentiments in they are they're big and they're great especially at this time of year because um there's lots of graduations going on so that is a great um set to use as as for graduation cards now because it's photopolymer i'm going to use um my stamping pierce mat which just gives you a little bit of give because they've got no cushion like our um, red rubber stamps have so I'll pop that on there I'm using Daffodil Delight ink and I'm using the Congrats stamp from this set I'm just going to ink it up to move it across the pad it's so big you can't stamp it all in one go and we'll just line it up as best we can into the center and press there so our ink dries pretty fast um, just be careful not to smudge. And we'll turn that over and use the snail. And we'll pop that onto the Daffodil Delight panel. Trying to line it up as central as you can, but don't worry if it's not. They are handmade after all. And there we go. And then we're going to pop that over. Now this Daffodil Delight panel is the same width as the DSP that we've used. So there is no border around there. And for that, I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. I'm going to use quite a few dimensionals because it is a big piece to to stick up in fact let's just put some more on you probably don't need this many this is probably overkill but we don't want it sagging in the middle a saggy middle is never good Right, so here we go. 
Now what you can do is line this up with your grid paper which will help you make sure that you get it straight. There, I think that'll do. So for the embellishment I'm going to put on, you can see here I've used some ribbon and one of our clear faceted buttons. So I've got some Daffodil Delight cotton ribbon, I think this one is, yep, yeah, Daffodil Delight cotton ribbon. Um, I'm going to take about 10 inches, I think. And we need some glue dots. Now if we just cut that in half actually. And if we put a glue dot on the end. Let's move this out of the way. And bring it into the middle and then get a glue dot on the other end Oops. and bring that into the middle too so you've got your two loops and then do the same with the other one making this slightly smaller So we'll probably overlap the loops on this one. And the glue dot in the middle. This is just a, I'm cheating because I could have done a bow, but I'm not very good at bows. And we'll stick that there. And another glue dot in the middle. there and then we've got our clear faceted designer vintage faceted buttons and they're clear and we want the middle sized one out of here we've got the large ones that's the middle one and they also do a tiny one we're going to go for the middle one today and I've got some of the whisper white bakers twine And this is where we do try and tie a bow. Now to get rid of the kinks out of the baker's twine, just run it through your finger and your bone folder. And then you need to thread, try not to lose your button in the process, but thread your baker's twine, make sure I get it the right way up, through the holes in your button. and tie a bow. I'll speed this bit up because you really don't want to see me struggling to tie a bow. There we go. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. We'll trim the tails and we'll use another glue dot on the back of the button, not on my fingernail. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. Bring that in and put that on in the middle. There. Okay. We'll just fold the card over, burnish it with the bone folder and there we go a quick and relatively simple congratulations card thanks for joining me today um, if you like what you see give me a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel if you would like to buy any of the products that you've seen me using today pop on over to my blog www.samsentiments.co.uk and there you'll find a link to my stamping up store which is open 24 hours a day seven days a week uh, thanks for joining me and i'll see you again soon bye